The App Shell is an app organization framework built for bubble applications. Uh, think of it as a, a fertile ground for you to plant your idea. Why are we doing this? Like, first off, users speak and already intuit this language, right? So users spend most of the time in applications other than yours. So we might as well just build on top of this language that they already speak. Constraints here will allow your creativity to flourish. Right? With this app shell, there are some choices that we're going to eliminate, which makes it easier for you to uh, you know, save some mental energy, for you to focus on priority problems. Okay. The benefits is that because we're constraining some of these things, we're going to increase our design consistency, which is always uh, important to make your app look good. It's going to be very easy to maintain, so no more of this 10,000 pixel long uh, uh, apps. It's going to be very quick to prototype because we're going to be able to throw in a component, uh, add the controls to it, and you know make it in and out very quickly. And because we're using this you know, components idea of reusables, it's going to be easier to collaborate with colleagues, right? I, I can work on this part, work on that part, and you don't step on each other's foot. And it's going to be native shareable links, right? Because we're going to be using a lot of URL parameters, it's going to be easier for you to say, uh, to, for the users to take a link out of your um, application and send it to somebody else, because it's just, we're going to get that for free, because this is what we're going to be using to show and hide elements. So what is the app shell? You've seen this before, it's just a very simple, an F bar on the left, a header on top, and then the content section. So there's nothing new here, it's just how we're going to build this. And what does the component section look like? It, we're just going to stack a bunch of uh, reusables, one on top of the other, so that we can um, uh, make them visible. All right, let's get into this.